Hello, I'm Dr. Benita Rattan from the Hyperpigmentation Clinic. I'm a doctor, but I'm also a cosmetic formulator specifically for skin of color. So this whole channel is dedicated to skin of color. And what I love to do is to go through deep dive investigations of brands to let you know which products are best for our skin and which ones we should be avoiding. Just so that you know, none of my videos have ever been sponsored and they never will. So these are all coming from science and no other reason for why I would tell you whether I like something or whether I don't like something. So today's video is all about dry skin. A lot of you have asked me to do this video for a while, so I'm glad we're managing finally to do it. I'm going to be talking about why does it happen, my top tips to treat it, and also a step-by-step -step routine with my favorite products for you to use as well. If that sounds good to you, please give me a thumbs up. So the first thing I would tell you to do is to visit your doctor to assess whether or not this is eczema because eczema does require slightly different treatment to just dry skin. I've actually made you a couple of videos already on eczema so I, if you think you might have eczema it's worth watching the videos just to go through it and see whether you have all the symptoms. Um, if it's purely just dry skin and it's because the climate is changing, the climate is becoming drier and your skin is feeling drier then this is the right video for you. Now the reason people really hate dry skin is it can be very irritating, it can feel itchy, it can feel a bit inflamed, but also the skin can look duller and wrinkle, fine lines and wrinkles can look worse. The reason this is happening is because if you think about the skin cells, the way that skin is layered, when it's dehydrated, that top layer of skin, the cells are more compacted. And so even your uh, the melanin in those cells is more compacted. And so it looks duller. Um, and again, when you don't have those water molecules, it the skin also tends to crease more and that's what leads to fine lines. So it just gives you more of an aged appearance and that's something that obviously we all want to avoid. <laughs> okay, so the most important things uh, actually start from the shower. When you have your shower, the biggest mistake you can make is to have a long hot shower or a long hot bath. Your skin does not like it. This is this is very dehydrating to your skin. So what I recommend is a lukewarm shower and short, five minutes. I know you're not gonna like that because everyone loves their warm showers, but your skin doesn't. So if you have dry skin, I urge you to, to do lukewarm for five minutes. Keep it quick because you don't wanna strip oil from your skin. That oil is precious and valuable. That is what's keeping water, reducing your transepidermal water loss and keeping water locked into your skin. So that's the first thing that I do. The second thing I would make sure is what products are you actually using in the shower? I would say honestly, 99% of the products on the shelf are not good for your body, especially if you have dry skin. The reason being they are loaded with fragrance. More than any other skincare, body skincare, is it's like the fourth or fifth ingredient is fragrance you know and as you know if you go down the inky list it goes down in decreasing order of percentage um and usually for face creams as it is fragrance is the last thing and it's you know less than one percent but for the body it's it, it's a much higher percentage so really pay attention the one that i love is sanix and it has no fragrance in it um, it's for very sensitive skin and that's what you need to be looking for actually on the packaging is a very sensitive skin but more than that you need to educate yourself on the actual ingredients because guess what you can write whatever you want on packaging and it doesn't always correlate as you know with the ingredients list if you've watched enough of my videos so that's the most important thing is making sure there's no fragrance because that's the number one cause of contact dermatitis <laughs> yes absolutely so we want to avoid it especially when you have dry skin because guess what your skin is already irritated it's already angry so we really need to look after your skin at that point i would then say to use an occlusive gel in the shower so what that does is again it just it just locks water into your skin and again helps to prevent trans epidermal water loss. The one I love, love, love is Oilatum. I've been using it pretty much my whole life. Oilatum shower gel. It's actually quite hard to get hold of, 
but it's one of the best things for your skin and it's something you really want to be applying every day. Now, when you come out of the shower, you have to gently pat your skin dry and then you moisturize immediately because the way a moisturizer works is it locks in the water that's on the skin. Okay, so it has to happen immediately and you have to almost have damp skin still. You don't want to, you know, dry it so much that you've also removed the water and now you're moisturizing, it's not going to be very effective. So that's the best way to do it. The next most important step is which cream are you going to choose? Now it's really important it's not a lotion because lotions tend to be very thin and they have a very high water phase. Don't forget we want high fat phase, that is what's going to help our skin. Um, and so you want to be going for a thick fatty moisturizer, not a thin lotion because it's going to do nothing for you. In fact, you might even need an ointment moisturizer. So that's almost the next stage up. So the moisturizer I always talk about is Cetraban. It's the one that I love. It's very fatty. Um, it, this is not for acne prone skin. Um, it is for purely for dry dehydrated skin. Um, and the other actives that I want you to look for, other ingredients I want you to look for in the back of the packaging are words like hyaluronic acid, urea, um, I love glycerin, um, I love dimethicone. The other ones are mineral oil and lactic acid are also very good humectants and holding water in the top layer of skin. The other actives that I love, love, love are antioxidants at this point um, and ceramides. So those are two other almost star ingredients that you would like to have in your skincare routine because we're trying to restore the skin's natural barrier and that's what ceramides helps to do. So areas that are often forgotten two areas I would say are the lips and the hands and recently as we've all been washing our hands and using drying alcohol on our hands our hands are feeling the pain your hands are gonna be feeling dry and cracked um, and so again we need to be hydrating very often again non fragrance and fatty fatty creams is really what we're looking for the three ingredients I tell you to absolutely avoid with dry skin is your vitamin A any drying alcohols um, what other and obviously fragrance as well. Fragrance, essential oils, I would absolutely avoid with dry skin. The two environmental factors that in recent years we've had a lot more of is heating and air conditioning. Both of these things lead to dry skin. And what I would say to you is buy yourself a humidifier, leave it in your bedroom, put it on at nighttime if you have AC, because it's almost, you know, air conditioning is sucking the water out of the air and in the morning your skin will feel dry and tight and I don't want that. I want your skin to feel rejuvenated. You want your skin to feel like it's had a whole night of replenishing itself ready for the next day. Not that you've tortured your skin all night and it's now crying in the morning and you're about to go outside where there's UV and pollution and um, you know leading to free radicals on our skin which is obviously all the things that we don't want so nighttime is our time for healing is our time for our skin to recover and restore itself so I do think if you suffer with dry skin because of air conditioning all night is definitely worth investing in a humidifier the other thing that you need to note is with dry skin it does take longer for the skin to heal and that means we need to absolutely minimize the amount of damage that's happening to our skin throughout the day we need to reduce the amount of free radicals that are exploding in our skin um, and so obviously we have to be so good with our sunblock um, obviously everyone has to be good with their sunblock but if you have dry skin you are doing yourself no favors by skipping that step. You have to be really vigilant with your sunscreen because your skin needs that protection in order for it to try and recover. So definitely it's every two hours, be very good with your sunscreen. I've done lots of videos for you on how to, which, you know, chemical versus physical, my favorite ones, how I wear it throughout the day, how I wear it on top of makeup. So if I can wear it on top of makeup, you can wear it on top of makeup. So please um, definitely make sure you get very good at your sunscreen as well. Okay, so Dr. V, what is a step-by-step -step routine for my dry skin on my face and my dry skin on my body? So let's do this. I have analyzed so many brands for you. <laughs> and I'm literally, I'm now getting to a point 
I think I've done about 50 so far. I've got about 30 more to do before we cover basically every single brand, major brand in the world. And what I'm basically compiling for you are a list of the best products from every single brand. And now it makes it very easy for me to make these videos for you where I can say how to do you know, your dry skin routine, how to do your acne routine, etc. So I'm really glad we, we went, you, you went through the pain with me. We went through so many brands together. And thank you so much for telling me which brands that you love and which ones for me to go and investigate. We're almost there, I've got 30 more to go before we know absolutely everything there is to know about every single brand um, and whether or not it's good for our skin or color. So let's start off with what we need to do for the face. First of all, when you remove your makeup, don't use any wipes. What I'd recommend is DHC Deep Oil. So it's called DHC Deep Cleansing Oil. It's the one I wear, absolutely love it. It means it's much better for the environment, it's much better for your skin. Um, and it's great because you've already got, if you've got dry skin, it's, um, it's very good for your skin. You're not gonna be worried about breakouts, etc. I actually need to go through the ingredients list to make sure that there's no, there's not, non, it, make sure there's no non-commodogenic, no commodogenic ingredients to see whether or not suitable for acne skin, but for, for dry skin, it's excellent. Okay, so I would use that, and when you use it, I do it for a good 20 to 30 seconds, and I literally just gently massage my skin in order to melt the makeup away. Um, it's very relaxing for your skin, um, and I, I do think of skincare as your your time. It's your self-care time. It's your time to breathe and meditate and just think about yourself and love yourself. So I really, I really do get into that massaging <laughs> every day. <laughs> oh, that's my child calling me. Yes, so I'm at home right now and the kids are at home and so yeah, often they'll just they'll just you know come in into my shot. Hopefully, I can get through this video without them. But let's see. So the next thing is a Garnier Micellar Gel Wash. This is the best wash for you. It's non fragrance. It's very hydrating, and it's not going to dehydrate the skin. I would not use even you know the simple wash, um, the other other simple washes for for you. I would stick with the Garnier Micellar Gel Wash, and I'll put a photo up for you. The next thing I'd say is use COSRX toner. It's very hydrating and immediately after you wash your skin, your skin is like a sponge. It's ready to absorb the next thing very rapidly. And so the first thing that you want is humectants on the skin. So I would definitely use that and I use it myself. The next thing I love is the Notorium Ceramide Moisturizer. So the reason this is so good is number one, it has no fragrance, no essential oils, no drying alcohol, but it also has um, high percentage ceramides in it. Um, and again, I use it myself and I feel like in the morning, my skin does feel like it's been rejuvenated. It feels more supple, it feels softer. And that is what you're looking for in the morning. If your skin is feeling dry in the morning, you're making some fundamental errors. So I definitely recommend that product. And the last product I love is Super Hydrate Overnight Mask from Hada Labo. That's, uh, and basically what that does is just reduces your trans epidermal water loss. Again, locks in water. I wouldn't use it every night. I do that maybe one to two nights a week. And that's sort of your intensive repair um, treatment that you would do at the end. By the end of this, and you do this for one month, your skin should feel far better. Your skin should feel younger. It should feel like it's glowing more. It should feel like it's recovering from any injuries much faster too. Pigmentation should also look like it's reducing. So it does lot, there's so many benefits to treating dry skin actually, and it's very easy to do. It's not even expensive to do. So follow that for one month and, and then DM me. Let me know on my Instagram. So you should be following me already at the Hyperpigmentation Clinic and at Skin care by Dr. V. I've also recently joined TikTok <laughs> and I'm at, it's actually very stressful because I really have no idea what I'm doing. So you can follow me on TikTok too. That's uh, Dr. Vanita Rattan. Give me ideas. Tell me what you want to see on TikTok. <laughs> And just to reiterate for the body, um, what I loved was Sanix um, body wash, that's in the shower, Oilatum shower gel, again, that's in the shower, and the Cetra Ben on your way out. There are also lots of body oils that I love. I can actually do a whole video for you. I think I'm gonna do this video if you've asked me a few times on best oils for the face and best oils for the body and also the ones to avoid. So if that's something you definitely want from me, please can you write down yes in the comment section below so I know that's something that you want. 
Don't forget to download your free guide for skincare for skin of color. Put a lot of love into it. The link is in the description box below. If there's any other free guides you want me to make for you, please let me know. Um, I do feel like a lot of you have already read this guide and are now looking for something more advanced, which I'm more than happy to do for you. So give me ideas for guides that you want. And also please can you give me some ideas for videos that you want as well, because when I see one video that you, a lot of you like, or a lot of you have put thumbs up for, I will, you know, I'm 100% going to make everything that you want um so it just helps me you know put it into my to-do list and put it into order you know which one's going to happen next thank you so much for watching